Hi, this is Manel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's live stream. Before I start and introduce today's topic, I wanted to thank you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for following. Thank you for engaging. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today's topic is a topic that has always actually been something that I've worked on, been aware of, been challenged by, and that's body image. I've always felt that what I am and what my body is did not match society's ideal for beauty, that I was maybe too big. Sometimes I felt like I wasn't tall enough, um, wasn't slim enough. And I know that this is not unique to me, that body image is a challenge that many of us feel because society, media, and social media is really blasting to us, sometimes an artificial measure of what beauty, what body, what eating, and what exercise looks and should look like. And so today's meditation is a opportunity. I wasn't sure if I should say the word challenge or opportunity, but it's an opportunity to explore how some of this conditioning has impacted you and your thoughts and your feelings and ultimately go through that five-step process that we go through in all my meditations. One, awareness. Without awareness, without recognizing that you may feel or there's things, thoughts that you hold or beliefs that you hold, there is no growth. So step one to growth is really become aware. So walk through a meditation to become aware of some of societal's conditioning and what that conditioning and that impact on you. Two, acknowledgement. There is always a bigger message for any resistance we experience. There's two ends of a stick. There's an empty cup and a full cup. And ultimately, when you look and become aware of the resistance that you're holding with respect to your body, on the other side, there's a freedom. There's the full cup that you're looking for. So let us explore what that full cup is. With respect to body image, that other side of the stick is typically self-worth, self-love, acceptance. But once we're brave enough to become aware of the resistance, then we become open to recognizing, acknowledging what the bigger message is for us. The third, appreciation. Until the heart gets engaged and until you can ultimately find the gratitude, the recognition, the appreciation for your vulnerability, for your strength, for your courage, for your wi willingness to explore, to expand, and to understand what ultimately your growth is heading towards. Without that appreciation, there is no growth and you lose the ability to ultimately, which is step four, let go. Let go of the resistance that you might be carrying. Let go of all of that societal conditioning. Get let, let go of those thoughts that keep you from full self-love, acceptance, self-worth. And then ultimately, step five is surrender. Surrender back to the universe. Surrender everything back to the universe and, and, and move to a place of allowing, of peace of acceptance, of self-worth. So those are the series we're going to go through and ultimately explore. The catalyst for today's live stream is a course that I have. It will, it's available on my website, soon available on Insight Timer. And ultimately, it's a self-image reboot and it's looking at your beauty image, your body image, exercise, and your relationship with food. And ultimately we go through all those five steps to become aware, acknowledge, appreciate, let go, and surrender to guide you, to guide you towards the step of finding full acceptance of who you are, full love, full self-worth. And as you know, from if you follow my meditations and you follow me, I honor the process of, of, of self-awareness and I honor conditioning because human conditioning is something that we all go through. We did, our parents do, our grandparents did, our great great parent, grandparents did, and this is all part of the human experience. And so it's an opportunity for all of us to start to recognize conditioning and then choose to recalibrate 
and to recondition. And so it's a work in progress. Some things might be immediate. Something you might hear today might click and boom, you move from the short end of the stick to the, to the long end of the stick. Or some conditioning might take longer and it doesn't really matter. The concept of time, just let it go. What matters is your willingness to explore and your desire for growth. And it will happen at the time that is best for your highest good. So with that, let us begin the meditation. For those of you that know me, I like to start with three breaths so we can start the grounding, get our brains to recognize that we're moving into a different, a different direction. And I love to guide you to indulge in what I call the gap, that special place between the breath in and the breath out. So let's go. Keep your eyes open. Close your eyes. Whatever makes you most comfortable. Let's start with the first breath. Take a deep breath in. And release. Take a second beautiful deep breath in. Indulge in the gap. And release. Take a third and final deep breath in. And release. At this point, become aware, become aware of your body. Start to connect with how you may feel about your body. Are there any beliefs or thoughts that you hold against your body? Do you love your body? Do you judge your body? Are there areas in your body that you wish you could change? Explore any resistance that you may hold towards your body. Don't overindulge in any of the feelings. Just become aware of thoughts, beliefs, any emotions or feelings that you may feel. I will pause to give you the opportunity to explore. Now, let's explore a bit deeper. Our resistance can serve to direct us to understand the deeper meaning, a deeper desire, a deeper want, Resistance is guiding us to recognize that we might want more, 
the case of body image might be directing us towards self-love, self-confidence, acceptance, surrender, self-worth. Explore and dig a bit deeper into your resistance. Let it know that you see it, you hear it, you feel it, and open yourself up to understanding the deeper message, the deeper why, the deeper liberation that's behind that resistance. I will pause to give you the opportunity to open yourself up and to receive any deeper messages. Now, you may or may not have received a message. Whether you did or did not is irrelevant. Just opening yourself up to receive. And if you received, appreciate and enjoy the message. And if you did not, once you open yourself up, you'll receive a message that's at the time that's best for you, for your highest good. But at this point, appreciate. Appreciate your courage. Appreciate your vulnerability. Appreciate your willingness to create a safe space, to explore, to understand, to accept, to release. I will pause to give you the opportunity to appreciate Wonderful. And at this point, take a deep breath in and release, 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 release all of that resistance that you may have connected with. Take a deep breath in and release. Take a deep breath in and release. Wonderful. And at this point, surrender. Surrender to the universe. Surrender all of the resistance and and allow for yourself to move towards self-worth, self-acceptance, self-love, worthiness. I'll pause to give you the opportunity Wonderful. And at this point, take a deep breath in of self-love. And release. Take a 
deep breath in of acceptance. And release. Take a deep breath in of self-worth. And release. Imagine the light of the universal divine entering through the crown of your head, going through your head, your throat, your shoulders and your chest and heart, your abdomen, your pelvis area, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and out through the soles of your feet. And imagine the universal light from the divine earth going up through the core of the earth, through the soles of your feet, your calves, your knees, your thighs, up through your pelvis area, your abdomen, your heart and chest, your shoulders and neck, your head and out through the crown of your head. I'll pause to allow some of these concepts to calibrate and recalibrate your body and create any intentions that you feel so inspired to. Wonderful. I hope you're feeling lighter. And I hope that your body is tingling like mine is. Really appreciate you being here. Please let me know if there are any topics that you would like me to, 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 to cover in the future. I will be talking about resistance next Sunday and talking about all forms of resistance, resistance on the physical level, the emotional level, the mental level, and, and the egoic level. I'm really excited about this one. It was requested last week. As I said, if you're really interested in body image, I've got an a eight-day or nine-day course that really looks at body, beauty, food, and exercise. It helps you understand the resistance to you so you can ultimately let go and surrender. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate you. Looking forward to seeing you anywhere. My love, always.